Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 10th of 2023 well, it is titled NGC 2264, the Cone Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a star formation region and what is known as the Cone Nebula for its distinct shape coming up towards a point there in the shape of a cone. Now the details in it are really showing us a lot of the signs of star formation, a very dusty area filled with a lot of material from which stars are beginning to form. And this is an example again of a stellar nursery. And we get some very beautiful pictures from these because of the patterns that will form within them. Now when stars begin to form they will begin to form first in the darkest densest knots so very dark areas such as close to the tip of the cone here where we see some very dark areas just below that tip which are the denser areas that we really cannot see through in visible light. So that's where stars are beginning to form and we are forming what we call proto stars not quite stars yet as they have not become hot enough in their interiors to fuse hydrogen into helium which is really our definition of a star is the object that fuses hydrogen into helium in its core. Now towards the peak of the cone nebula, we then see the region that is being pushed away by a very hot massive star, which we don't actually see in this image. It would be off the top of this image, but the energy from that star as it pushes out its strong stellar winds will sculpt away at the material and the densest material is what is left behind. So the less dense material gets washed away by this cosmic flood of energy from that massive star. And then the densest area at the peak of that cone where materials are still forming stars is the last to get eaten away. So it will remain there and new stars will begin to form there and continue this process. So a, a nebula such as this is a continuing battle between the stars which have formed and the dust and gas which are left behind. And eventually the dust the stars will win the dust and gas will be pushed away and we will be left with a new cluster of stars that has formed from this material. Now we see all of that dust. We also see the reddish glow. That red glow is all associated with hydrogen gas. When it is excited by those hot stars, it glows and gives off that distinct red color associated with hydrogen and is another sign of star formation that we see here in our galaxy as well as when we look at distant galaxies. So that was our picture of the day for January 10th of 2023. It was titled NGC 2264 the Cone Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.